everyone this is another vlog yay it's so fun I am driving again surprisingly and what I'm gonna be doing today is that I'm going to check out this uh, nail supply store that is closing that I found through Facebook it's this woman that she's closing her store and she has 20 to 80 percent off of everything and if you guys don't know I am a nail technician as well as a makeup artist and I have my station done at home if you haven't seen that vlog it's gonna be in the info box down below if you want to go say it and I am super like hyped up about this new thing that I'm doing and I want everything so that's what I'm kind of doing today in one kilometer um, turn right onto Ruel de Boucher Sorry, I have my GPS <laughs> taking me to the place. Um, I don't know all the routes in Montreal, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> I suck in directions. I just put it on the GPS and I let the GPS do its job, basically. But what I'm looking for today is a nail drill because I tend to get a lot of clients that want to remove their old nails and to get a new one. And it's kind of like hard. It's not hard. I know how to do it but it takes so much time for me to file all the time so I thought if I get a nail drill it will be easier for me and like that the client won't be sitting for like four or five hours you know what I mean which it had happened which is normally normal for a, a new newbie in their work to take a little bit more time just to make everything perfect that's what I'm looking for and I'm also on a hunt on a lot of new gel polishes like shellac and I'm super hyped up about it I think it's the easiest funnest thing you can ever work with and they last way much longer than a nail polish and clients tend to like that most now oh my god that guy had a Mercedes G wagon I died <laughs> it's very nice so I think I have to take the highway Sorry, buddy, but I need to go. I swear, over here, I find the people, um, especially driving, they are so rude on the road. Like, you put your flash for about literally 10 minutes and that person would never make you pass. Never make you pass. And I might get like little uh, miscellaneous stuff, like, um, like, I don't know, I need more backup of the uh, wooden sticks and I need maybe some files, you know, I like to have those um, to merge onto north I like to station. have those on hand just in case and I have buffers, I, have, I bought buffers last time and I have all of that but I'm just probably, I'm somebody that if I see something that I need then I'm gonna get it then after I need to go to the mall and get uh, Willy a, a gift because tomorrow is our second year anniversary and I'm so happy because we're doing something fun, a bit more relaxing and hopefully it's gonna be a bit more sunny than today today is very cloudy um, but I'm also very happy because I'm off for three days from work and they say that this, I have a hard time speaking with this GPS on and they say that those three days that I'm off there's gonna be sunny well today isn't really that sunny um, but uh, hopefully tomorrow it will be and then I'm off on Wednesday and I have a good friend of mine that is also a client of mine now um, that I used to work with her at Pharmapri which is a drugstore make a drugstore place that I used to be in the cosmetics and she's more on the pharmacist so she's gonna be coming to my house on Wednesday to do her nails so I'm super excited to see her it's been a long time hi Nikki I'm so sure you're watching because I think she watches my videos <laughs> I think everybody that knows me that watches my videos but most of them they do most of them they do so hi to every, all of my friends uh, at work or at from nail school from everybody hi to everybody who's watching thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me and this place is in a, a spot here it called Terban which is another like little area in Montreal which is kind of like 30 minutes away from my house which is not that bad the traffic isn't really that bad either so I am just taking a little drive because it's fun I love taking drives and I'm, I was excited and the store is open till 4 today so that's why I'm like I woke up a bit early to get there get what I want and I also have a few calls to do and few things to do too so hopefully um, 
I'll get everything done by on time and not that late. I have to say the past week was intense. I worked non-stop. I worked like six days in a row and I had a contract and I had another contract for nails. So I had a makeup contract and I had a nail contract that was super exhausting on me and it literally drained me. I was literally, <laughs> I had no energy whatsoever. I, I was like super, super dead, super exhausted. It's not even funny. So today I took the chance to chance to sleep in a bit, um, and thank God today I I woke up without a headache because the past few days I've been having a lot of headache. Like my headache is kind of like a migraine, but it's not really a migraine. I don't know what it is because it kind of hits my forehead in the front, but it also hits my eyes. So it kills. It kills so much, and I thought that. Because I, I get headaches often and uh, the past few, I don't know, months, I've been uh, drinking pure coffee, no sugar, no nothing, like pure black coffee. And um, I found that my headaches doesn't come that often anymore. I guess I got my headaches last week because I've, I'm have i exhausted and I felt like dizzy and like I just wanted to throw up most of the time and I get that feeling every time when I am just super exhausted. So today, thank God, I feel much better just because maybe I slept a little bit more. I took the chance to sleep in a bit and it felt good. It felt really good. And I'm trying my best to work as hard as I can lately. Any contract that comes to my site, I'm gonna take it. So, you know, I'm trying to kind of practice more my technician, my nail technician, and um, do more makeups as much as I can. So it's, it's fun. I really, really like it. It's exhausting, but it's fun. I love it. I wanna apologize for my last vlog. I wasn't able to finish what I'm talking. I edited it and I posted it, and then I'm like, but I cut so much conversations I wasn't able to tell you guys about. So let me continue with this vlog. Back in March, okay, this is kind of like a story time video as well. Might as well, I'm driving and I wanna talk. Hopefully don't people find me crazy talking to myself, but I don't care. Back in March, after, um, before actually, my brother and my mom left to Dubai for 10 days in Paris. Oh my God, the water is so rise. The water is high, you guys. That is crazy. I don't know if you guys could see that, but the water is so high. Whoa, it's like floating. Like it's, oh my God, I'm freaking out. But I guess like because all the snow melted and everything, so I guess it's normal. It used to happen when I was in high school. We have like this river behind our school and the water was always so high up. Again, I feel like I'm changing conversations, but back in back in March, okay? Before my brother and my mom left to Dubai and Paris, uh, we went to the gym together, and I'm like, plus like I wasn't doing that well financially, and that was the last thing that I wanted to happen, like literally, because I just didn't want it. To, uh, it was just so stupid. She went, we went to the gym all together, my brother Michelle and I, and we had everything we own in the locker, basically phones and wallets, you know? Uh, we finished the gym, and what we had that day is that I think I had a contract or I was doing something in the morning, I came home and I was really tired, and I was already sore from the past gym days that we went, so I was really sore. And Michelle, she's like, oh, come with us. I'm like, no, you know what, I don't feel like it. And then Willie calls, he's like, hey babe, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm really sore, Michelle wants me to go to the gym. He's like, well, this is the best thing when you're sore is to go back to the gym and work, work your ass off. So I'm like, you know what, okay. And they're about to leave, so Michelle comes back up. She was like, well, come with us, you know? I'm like, okay, you know what, wait for me, guys. I'm gonna get dressed. So I got dressed, I went to the gym, and then we, we got to the gym. We were going up the stairs to go work out. My brother had a stain on his back. Sorry, the camera shut down and I don't know <laughs> where I stopped talking. We got to the gym, my brother had a stain on his pants. He felt uncomfortable. He's like, you know what, we're gonna go back home. And we're like, no, we're not gonna go back home. So we ended up cleaning, cleaning him up and then we went to work out. So when we were done, I was so happy to call back Willie and tell him, oh my God, you know, I was so excited to call Willie and tell him how hard I was working. And 
you know, I'm just very proud of myself. Like I forced myself to get this workout done and then I was telling Michelle, I can't wait to go home and do like a good salad, you know, and have like a little relaxing moment. We're like, yeah, so pumped like to be back home, to for me to call Willie and tell him about my workout. Don't we just go downstairs to our locker and our locker was wide open. Yes, you guys, our locker was wide open and my phone, Michelle's phone, Michelle's wallet were stolen. Everything was gone. My brother was lucky enough because he had his phone in his jacket. Uh, thinking about it now, it just literally, it frustrates me on how people could be so heartless, so stupid to do something like that now. That is basically high school work. You know, I call that high school work because it's it's ridiculous i can't believe people actually still do that break into your locker take your stuff to kind of hack it and then sell it like it's ridiculous i don't i can't really uh i can't really imagine people still do that you know that's literally high school work when you're like 14 13 years old you know it's it's ridiculous we go back to the main floor where the office is we're like you know what our locker was wide open at this point i'm talking relaxedly but we were there my god how loud we were screaming and how mad we were and they're like oh we're sorry we can't really do anything about it and i'm like well you have cameras i'm declaring to see the cameras they just look at me and they're like look at me and michelle actually they look at us and they're like uh well the cameras are not working <laughs> what <laughs> what do you mean the cameras are not working like this is hilarious i'm like then why are they there she's like oh our technician didn't come and um they, they weren't able to fix it i'm like but this is this is ridiculous right you must be joking me am i getting punked like what is what is what's going on like this must be ridiculous you know and then they're like no we're sorry we can't do anything the only thing we can do is file a police report what is the police going to do? The police is not going to do anything. If the police takes four or five hours when the house is robbed, do you really think they're gonna care about a phone and a wallet? This is like low security wise in this freaking gym and we were so mad, so frustrated. And we're like, you know what? We can't really do anything. So we went back to our phone company and we told them this and this happened. We were hoping like, you know, we get our phone replaced or something. But no, we had to pay like extra, we had to pay like extra. <laughs> this woman, she's like, what is she doing? So we had to pay extra um, $200 to get a new phone. Yeah, it was just, this is the last thing I needed last, like back in March. This is the last thing I needed because it, it's hard for me to take $200 and you know give it like that for a phone that i had not even two hours ago you know what i mean it was just so frustrating i was so i was so mad i was so so mad like it's not even funny so yeah that's what happened basically we filed a police report they didn't really do anything i think a week later michelle gets a call from the gym and they told her oh somebody brought back your wallet <laughs> I found it so funny and then Michelle she's like oh really my wallet is back and what about our phones she's like sorry there was no phones that you know came back and whatever and then she's like well who brought it back she's like sorry we cannot release this information I was like this must be hilarious you know they must be joking we must be getting punked or something but yeah Michelle got all her wallet back um, they only took her her farmer free card which is basically a points card that you can accumulate from your pharmacy and like that you can get um you know like stuff because this point turns into money and you can buy stuff so they ended up just taking that card hoping that there was points on it but michelle has zero points <laughs> so that was that was that was what happened so i found it really 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 funny the fact that you know that happened to us and i'm wondering where am i going like i've been driving for so long it feels like i'm going to uh mont Tremblant or something I don't know if you know Mont Tremblant, but it's a beautiful place. So that's what happened in the month of March that um, got me kind of like, you know, down and, and, and sad because it just, you know, it, it sucked. It really, really sucked to have somebody idiotically do something stupid like that. So that's what happened. <laughs> I 
I love this song. Yay, oh, I'm to my exit now. I'm so happy. Finally. But you know what? I love this drive. It's so mellow, so relaxing. I'm talking to you guys. It's all great. It's all great. I love it. I really do. My nail station is getting awesome. There's a lot of things I need to get still. Like I want to get a... Um, I want to get a nail polish rack to put on the wall. And um, what else? There's a few things I need to get. But I'm waiting because everything tends Continue to be. On Boulevard yeah, everything gets expensive at one point, so you have no choice but to kind of wait a bit and save up and build everything and get everything. Kind of like what happened to me when I was doing my makeup. You know, I started off with nothing, worked, and got everything I needed after. So it all takes patience. I guess I'm gonna be updating you guys or vlogging you guys when I get to the place. I'm gonna try to vlog inside. I mean, it would be fun if I do. Uh, like that you guys could see everything that they have and um, hopefully I find what I'm looking for I mean it's always fun so I'll see you later and uh, I'll talk to you later <laughs> look where they have the camera to screw people over that's not funny that's not funny this place is so cute look at this it's like so tiny it's like a little little place i love it look at the trees this would be really nice in the fall actually there's houses there wow this is very very nice little drive so relaxing really sad the store actually closed down and I'm so disappointed why did that happen to me now I wish I knew like when was at the post like they didn't even say what day this is gonna be closed or whatnot this always happens to me you guys it always happens to me because it's false information whatever you see online you know like they said that the store is still open and running but it's not it's actually closed whatever I'm just gonna go back to the other nail supply store that I tend to go to uh, most of the time so I'm gonna go to another place because they have 15% uh, off of uh, CND products and I want to see how much their nail drill is going to be Hopefully not that expensive because oh my god, it tends to be very expensive sometimes I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging inside um, Belmonda because it's I don't want to <laughs> I don't mean it's a woman that is um, a very good friend of my nail teacher, so I don't want to I don't want to cause any problems and film inside her store, so I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm actually hungry. I'm thinking about maybe finding it myself at Tim Hortons and get a coffee or something. Dalrama Uni Pre. I don't think there's a Tim Hortons here somewhere, but IGA. Yeah, I don't think there's a Tim Hortons here. If you guys are wondering what I have on my lips, I have... In 500 meters, turn left to merge on Dickey 640 West. Thank you. I have a Spice Lip Liner from MAC, and I have a Kat Von D's Liquid Lipstick in Bow and Arrow. I've been waiting for this color for so long. Thank you for Cynthia um, that works at Sephora. Cynthia is like one of my close friends. Uh, you guys have seen her multiple times back a few years ago in, in a few videos of mine um, that I you also guys saw her in my LA vlog that's Cynthia she works at Sephora and um, oh there's McDonald's there I might get a McCafe too late to turn as she told she texted me actually she called me she's like Noor we just got bored narrow I'm gonna put it at the cash for you <laughs> She's so cute, so I ended up getting it, and you know what I got as well? I'm so happy to do a video about it. I finally got my hands on the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette. Yeah! 
<laughs> they also had lipsticks this time which I bought myself a lipstick as well because I just wanted it and just because it's Alice in Wonderland and I love Alice in Wonderland so yeah <laughs> So I'm so happy to do uh, videos and uh, show you looks and everything. I'm so excited. This palette is just it's insanely beautiful. It's so insanely beautiful. And I love Urban Decay. I love Alice in Wonderland. And I love makeup. Makeup junkie. So that's what I got. Ah! I found one! Look at that! Look at that! I just want to show you how beautiful this road is. It's so beautiful. You have to see that. Look at that. It's like I'm I'm going to Toronto or something. It's like a road trip road. It's so nice and I'm kind of getting out of the lanes. <laughs> this is so not safe. And I really want to talk to you guys, but I have nothing to talk about. Is that normal? I'm trying to find gel polishes, uh, more gel polishes. And um, I'm just waiting. I can't really go to any supply stores because I need my diploma and I haven't gotten my diploma yet in the mail it takes a long time to come apparently and um, I just really 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 want it so I can take it and um, go sign up to stores and stuff so I can basically do it that's what I want to do you know I'm just waiting to like get it so I can go two places and get like really awesome colors I want to check out OPI gel polishes apparently they're really nice really nice so I want to check out what they have you know <laughs> so I just stopped by Tim Hortons and got myself um, Tim Cafe, which is a Tim Coffee, I think. <laughs> I just know the words in French. And I got myself a bagel because I am, I was hungry <laughs> and I haven't eaten anything. So that's what I got myself. And now I'm going on my way to, I'm almost there actually. Oh my God, is that a cop? I'm turning you guys off, bye. So I just got out, um, I think my hair is like flying everywhere. Oh my God, no. Damn it, the road is closed. Things today. I got like a bunch of colors, um, gel polish colors. I have a client that she wanted like uh, pink, anything. It could be a light pink or dark pink. So I got her like a, a dark pink and a light pink color. And I got like some nudes and pastels. I mean, this is what's been really in. And I got really a nice uh, dark brown too that's like oh <laughs> that's like very very pretty too so that's what I got and I got myself a drill I didn't get the little pieces because it comes already with like a spare or two so I I'm like I'll see how it works and if ever I need more I'll just use uh, I'll go just go buy some and yeah um, I don't know where I'm going at the moment the road back there is closed, so uh, I'm kind of not lost. I didn't need my GPS. Basically, that's what it is. I can't go. I can't wait to go back home and like unpack everything and take pictures and show clients what I, I have, so like that I can they can book me for uh, their makeup and their makeup their nails. So yeah, I bought really cute colors and. Uh, Turn left onto Boulevard Saint Jean. I guess I'm gonna be vlogging you guys later because now I'm driving and I'm I feel a little bit deconcentrated. So talk to you. So soon. these are all the stuff I bought today. Um, I just got home by the way. So I got a whole bunch of new gel colors. This one was on sale. I think this is gonna be like discontinued or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because they had it on the rack of. Uh, like discontinued kind of thing and this is the C and the shellac in faux fur I really liked it because it's like a really dark brown color I was looking for cocoa but they didn't have it and last time I when I saw it they had it on the same rack so I'm thinking it could be discontinued I hope it's not and I got a cityscape which I had it in school absolutely love it 
uh, Field Fox is one of my favorite nudes that I also used a lot in school. Uh, Bare Chemise, um, by the way, they're all, um, this is opaque. This is opaque as well. I bought a uh, Bare Chemise. Um, this is semi-opaque, like uh, two to three coats I think would be good. And this is kind of blurry, you can't really see that much. <laughs> it says um, semi-sheer. And then I got, uh, this is one of their spring colors, the new collection. This is called Pink Pursuit. This is called Pink Pursuit, and it's also an opaque. It's a really nice, um, like a pastel coral. I really liked it for the spring and summer. This is called Winter Glow. I was hesitating between this one or another color, but I really wanted like a pale, almost nude pink, and this is one of them. And this is also opaque. I really like the opaque colors. I find like, I think two coats of it. It's really nice on the nails. And I got Cake Pop, which is a color I wanted for so long, which is a nice pinky lilac color. Absolutely love it. And this is also opaque. And I got Tutti Fruity, which is more of a bridal pink. Bridal? Did I say bridal? Brighter pink. <laughs> and um, I can't really see it focused right now. But this is also opaque. Tutti Fruity. And this is Faux Fur. Faux Fur is a dark brown and it's also opaque so that's what i got in the colors i already have uh three shellacs from cnd i have black pool i have wildfire and i have satin pajamas which is very pretty so now i have more colors and i'm excited and I, this is where i put all my gels and here I have two colors from Sally Hansen that I love. Purple Lux is what I have on my nails at the moment. It's very nice. And then I got this one. Uh, this is called Pad on the ba on the Black, which is a deep plum color. These are really great. And I got mine from Walmart for like 11 bucks. They're really cheap. And I also have another one that I found, it's Fuse. I'm trying to find more colors. Apparently they have really, uh, really nice collection. But this is in the turquoise and this one is called Intense So Fly. And um, if you use any of the gels, you need a base coat and a top coat. I was gonna buy a few, but these are pretty full still. And uh, the place I go to every Mondays, they have 25% off of CND products. So for now, I am good. And I also got, because I'm also gonna be doing uh, patty cores as well, which is feet. This is Givol's uh, cream for uh, dry rough skin this is amazing for people for anybody really I find it's a very moisturizing cream and it's great on everybody so this is why I got it because I want to do feet and I also got some slippers I only got two because I don't really have that much pedicure clients which I might later on so that's why I just got two because they're not that expensive but I just got two for now and then I also got gloves I mean, gloves is really handy if I'm doing people's hands and I don't want to ruin my nail polish, um, which most of the time it happens. So I don't want to do that, especially when it's freshly done. So I got gloves in size small. I like them to be a bit tight on my hands. And I also got uh, the nourishing remover. This is great for people who already has extensions and they want to take it off. So like that, I don't ruin their actual real nails. So I just soak their nails with this. And I really like it a lot, actually. I was so happy to find this because last time I went, they didn't have it. And I got also a nail drill. I just got a regular nail drill because um, I didn't want to get a $200, $300 one because I know I'm not going to use it often because it's most of the time going to use my hands. But it's also good to have, a, to have one. So I got this one right here. So I'm going to plug it in and charge it. And... Uh, give it a go and see how it works so i can go ahead and get it for them this is uh cnd shellac colors so it's like written in french um so here you have base code top code express 5. i wanted it but i'm waiting <laughs> till i get it they also have the machine they have it in black mine is white black is so cool 
and then uh, they have basically all the colors with the textures you know if they're sheer they're semi sheer or they're opaque and really cool my clients could like look through this and find any colors that they like so like that I can circle it and go get that go get it for them I really wanted um, indigo flock and I wanted a burgundy but I guess I'm waiting because these are more winter colors I really wanted a yellow too I'm gonna wait this one is gorgeous so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight the colors I have obviously and look at this these are really nice colors this one Field Fox is stunning. This is cocoa. I wanted cocoa because it's like a looks orange here, but it's actually a brown nude. So that's what I got. I really hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog. I wanted to go do something else, but I'm kind of tired. Like it's it's hitting me now. So uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.